Hi, I'm Sarah with Herbalife Nutrition, and this is your post-baby cardio and core circuit. So of course it is so important to strengthen our core after having a baby, but it's also important to work on our cardio endurance. So we're gonna do just that. We have a cardio 30 second drill where you're gonna get your heart rate way up, followed by a core exercise that is your active recovery. We're gonna work to bring your heart rate down. So let's go ahead and get warmed up by activating that core. Bring your hands to your abdominals. And we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, think of bringing those abs back together that have separated from pregnancy. So inhale here. Exhale, use those hands just to kind of guide those muscles back. Two more, notice I'm raising the shoulders and then dropping the shoulders. And thinking of the rib cage wrapping around. One more like that, inhale and exhale. And now soften the knees and rock those hips forward and back. So this is a great hip opener, but it's also a time to contract those abdominals. So as the hips come forward, squeeze the abs and then come back to center. So I'm not so much releasing back as I'm just coming back to center because I don't want those abdominals to flare open because we're trying to close them up. Last one here, nice. All right, let's take a big old squat down. And as you come up, big shoulder circle back, down and back up. So sit back into those heels, keep the chest lifted. A few more here. Get a little bit lower, warming up those legs. Last one here. And now split those legs here. Find a nice stationary lunge. Come down, drop that knee so you can get that hip forward. And again, we're working to stretch out that hip. Take the arms forward and squeeze those elbows back. So just reach and squeeze and reach and squeeze. Yes, two more here. And switch those legs. Get down into those legs, mama. Good. Tuck that hip underneath and open and close those arms to stretch and open up that chest. Yeah. Nice, two more here. And last one. Good, take those legs side to side and just lunge it out here. All right, we can start to move a little quicker here. I'm hoping your body is getting warm and ready to work. Take those arms with those legs and go reach and reach. Yeah, now we're gonna count this down a little bit. I want one, two, hold this here and get deeper into that lunge. Again, one, two, hold. There you go, and push that booty back. So my knees are tracking over those toes. And on your last couple lunges here, we're gonna add a little rotation. So stay here, drop that arm, see if you can reach for the floor and rotate up and open. Good, lunge it out, one, two, three, hold. To this side, drop that arm, open it up. Exhale. And one more time on each side. One, two, open it up. Yeah, that should feel really good. One, two, and last one here. Good, toe heel those feet in, take the hands to those legs, roll the body all the way on up. Are you ready? We're gonna get that heart rate up. We have squats side to side. So down and up, clock is on for 30 seconds. So maybe this is your first time doing this exercise and you need to move slow and controlled. Or maybe you've done this a few times and you wanna to start to pick up your pace a little bit. I need you to listen to your body and do what feels good today. Halfway there.
palms onto the floor. So I start to feel my low back coming up. I'm gonna bring that leg up a little bit. Hang on tight. Breathe with me. Three, two, and legs come in. Roll to your side and come all the way on up. All right, one more cardio drill. Let's do this. Legs out and out. That side lunge that we use in the warm up, it's coming back. You ready? Clock is on. Switch and switch. Okay, so you can really take this slow and be specific. All right, I want you to keep being specific if you move faster though. All right, still get to that spot and get down low. Work those legs, get that heart rate up. Maybe you can even touch the floor, but because your legs take you there, not this. Just up. Three, two, and one. Yeah. All right, you get to stay standing for this core exercise. We're gonna work those obliques, your side body. Hands come up behind your head. Open the elbows out wide. Rock to one side and come up. Back to the same side. Use your abdominals to pull yourself back. Breathe with me, exhale, inhale. I just think of breathing out in the part that's hard for me, and that might be different for you. Don't pick up your pace unless you can keep the technique strong. Hang on with me. Last three, two, one more for extra credit, and come up. Okay, shake it on out. Here we go, you're back to these side touches. Down and down, switch it and switch it. So maybe you're not feeling like you can go that low and that's okay. Maybe stay up here and just keep it light and quick. Totally an option. I like to feel the burn in my lower body so I'm going down low. More than halfway. Yeah, baby. Last five, four, three, two, one, and you're up. Active recovery, breathe through this, elbows back, we're up tall, and we go over to the side and back up. So I'm thinking of lifting this elbow higher. Back to center. Yes. Abs in, abs in. Don't let that belly pop out. And you might not be able to help it right now, right? Because you had a baby. But think about it, and once those muscles know what to do, they'll start doing it on their own again, I promise. Okay, last one. And you did it, you did it. So let's take those hands behind your back and just rock it out here, catching your breath a little bit more if you need to. Still continuing to work those abs, so abs come tight and release just a little bit back to a neutral position. Breathe, shake it out. And we work those legs. So let's take a lunge position and just get a little bit of a stretch here. Yeah. Drop that knee a little bit more if you need more of a hip stretch. And then sit back, get a hamstring stretch. Chest stays lifted. Flex those toes back. Stretch all the way from the calf all the way through the hamstring. And this is going to take a little bit of a balance. So take your time here. Cross the leg over if you need to hold on to something. Please feel free. And then sit down. Get that glute and hip stretch. Yeah. And let's switch. Here's your lunge. Drop that knee. I'm still trying to activate those abs. Right? I had a baby three months ago too, so I get it. And I also have a six and a three-year-old, so trust me, I get it. And tuck this foot underneath, pop up those toes, sit back. Flex them back so you can get something in that calf too. And then find your balance, take a deep breath in, cross that leg over, tighten up, and sit back. I had so much fun. I don't know about you, I hope you did. Come all the way up, shake it all out. Nice work today, and I will see you soon.